Inside J.K. Rowling's Magical Riverside Mansion J.K. Rowling is said to have written the first Harry Potter books on an antique typewriter in an Edinburgh cafe while she was struggling as a single mother. However, because Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone was such a smashing success, she quickly became the poster child for the Rags to Riches story. J.K. Rowling has a net worth of $1 billion as of 2022. So, let's take a look inside J.K. Rowling's $2.5 million mansion which inspired the Harry Potter books. J.K. Rowling's first novel has now sold a staggering 120 million copies, despite being rejected by a total of 12 different publishing houses before she finally signed a contract. Despite donating tens of millions of pounds to various charitable causes, she has become a fixture on lists of Britain's wealthiest people. Even though she struggled to make ends meet, the best-selling author was eventually able to purchase her own magnificent estate for $2.25 million, where she wrote several books in the Magical series. J.K. Rowling, her husband, Dr. Neil Murray, and their three children made their home in the beautiful period property in one of Edinburgh's most affluent neighborhoods. There was even a writing room in the property's lovely garden, which was no doubt a source of inspiration for the author as she finished the Harry Potter series. When the house was first listed for sale in 2009, it sold in six weeks, and the real estate agent's website received over 16,000 views during that time. The detached two-story luxury mansion has a backyard office structure that could have been JK's place of business. The house has two levels in total. Despite the fact that it had been renovated, Reddy, the real estate agent, stated that the changes were made to complement retained Victorian-era characteristics. The garden is known as a privately planted and walled garden. It also has a bright summer house, which is ideal for passing the time on beautiful summer evenings when the weather is nice. There is a two-car garage in addition to a number of outbuildings. Ruddy director James Whitson made the following statement, It was an honor to be entrusted with the sale of such a storied home in Edinburgh, which is known for its rich history. The fact that we were able to find a buyer in such a short amount of time illustrates that even in the most difficult of economic conditions, we are well positioned to meet the demands of our customers who are at the highest end of the market. She added, in addition to this, it also demonstrates that there is a shortage of quality supply in Edinburgh, and that when any property is correctly priced and located in a prime position, it will draw significant interest and, in the majority of cases, a buyer. This is not the only home that J.K. Rowling owns. According to the Daily Mail, Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling owns her childhood home, Church Cottage, at Tutsil in Chepstow. Rowling quietly purchased the Gothic-style cottage when it was listed for $500,000 in 2011. After years of inactivity, Rowling and her husband commissioned major renovation projects for it in 2020. The couple has been granted planning permission to install two rear dormer windows as well as to demolish and rebuild the garage. But first, let's talk about the enchantment that is Church Cottage. Rowling lived here from the age of 9 to 18, marking her territory on the wall with Joanne Rowling slept here circa 1982 when she was 17, according to the Daily Mail. The house includes a cupboard under the stairs, which is thought to have inspired Harry's room at the Dursleys' home. There is also a trap door in the dining room of the cottage, similar to the one guarded by Fluffy and Harry Potter in the Sorcerer's Stone. In addition, the property is close to the Forest of Dean, which appears in a portion of Harry Potter in the Deathly Hollows. According to Insider, Rowling derived the name of the Quidditch team, Tutsil Tornadoes, from the street name of the house. Julian Mercer, the home's former owner, told BBC back in 2011, over the years, some wise fans were able to connect the dots leading to the home, often trying to visit it. For years, every time a book or a film came out, there were always members of the public asking to come in to see the house, Julian then added. That's been happening ever since the book came out, but we haven't let them in. J.K. Rowling has established herself as one of the most popular crime authors in the country. In addition to the numerous spin-offs based on the Wizarding World, she had already published four books in the Cormoran Strike series under the pen name Robert Galbraith, and she was hard at work on the fifth. According to the latest estimates, her fortune is now thought to be a staggering $1 billion, representing an increase of $50 million over the course of the previous year. During the coronavirus outbreak, J.K. Rowling made a £1 million donation to the homeless charity Crisis and Refuge, which helps people cope with the effects of domestic violence. Furthermore, she made the announcement about the massive gift on the anniversary of the mythical Battle of Hogwarts. The author, who has sold over 500 million copies of her novels worldwide, founded her first charity foundation in the year 2000. In addition to providing financial assistance to children who are raised by a single parent and funding research into multiple sclerosis, the Volant Charitable Trust spends its annual budget of $5.1 million 
fighting against poverty and social inequality. Providing financial assistance to children who are raised by two parents and providing cash to help single parent families.